LED floor lamp. Um, it's about six foot five inches tall and features a lot of premium things, solid metal construction, uh, really nice high quality LEDs, no blue light, um, really excellent um, real life index uh, color rating. And this is dimmable here with this just one switch right here and to 10% up to 100%. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how I set it up and what it looks like in different scenarios, but here it is in my YouTube studio and it's uh, really elegant and pretty much goes anywhere. So let's get started and I'll show you how I set it up. This is the Honeywell HWL OTE Pro floor lamp. First of all, the box that it came in was really secure it had this these straps on here all the way across this box here and inside that box we have this box here all right this features a uh, color rendering index of 97 100 is as good as you can get there and that's basically with the light that it produces how accurate the colors under the lights are looking um, no blue light hazard and no strobe hazard so this is a really fancy light. Let's get that other box out of the way and we check it out. Okay, so we just have these two tabs right here. Let's move those out. All right, my friends. Well, here it is. I have it in the corner here. And this is the dining area. The light just uh, comes out nicely out of the top and out of the bottom. Like there's no flicker at all. Um, a lot of LEDs like kind of make distort the colors of things. Like I said, this has a color index of almost 100, which is nearly perfect. And let's uh, demonstrate the dimming switch here. All right, my friends. So total install, it's about six feet, five inches tall. And the switch here is super easy. It's nice, uh, a nice height. So you don't have to bend down to turn it off or, or reach up high. You can just rotate this. It's nice and smooth. I can dim this all the way down to 10% or up to 100% and then switch it off. It's just like that. Switch it back on. Super smooth. The base is really heavy. This is, feels really solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. I like the nice pads on the bottom. And it's nice and uh, small too, so you can slide it up next underneath your bed or wherever. It looks really elegant and nice light to be reading by. Okay, and whether I want this in the corner as like a reading light, I have pretty tall ceilings here. And you can see it just lights up the whole ceiling there nicely. It's really elegant. It's not garish looking, doesn't really distract anything. It's just minimalist and puts out a really beautiful uh, light there. Looks really nice here. And whether you're studying for your SATs or you just want to read a book at night, this brightens up this whole room here as well. For drawing, um, if you're doing artwork or things like that, be really good because the colors are going to be basically exactly as you should see them under this light. And you could also put this in your bedroom. A lot of bedrooms don't have um, light in them. They don't have any light fixtures in the top. So instead of spending a whole bunch of money to have someone come over and install them uh, lights, this is a nice option as well. It's uh, Brightens up the whole room actually As we can see puts out a nice a lot of light here and it's quite elegant and then you can dim it of course So a nice option for being able to just read um, In the bed at night and it's not going to mess up with your eyes or anything with the harsh lighting of uh, some other LEDs and stuff like that. But whether it's in the office or the dining room or the living room and uh, wherever you're having it, this is just a really um, kind of a nice looking light. 
our lamp that puts out some really nice light. I like the top uh, lights coming out. It does also have some a um, uh, couple of strips that you can put over that and make that a little less bright if you want to do that. But I really like the light coming out of the top like that. So, anyways, thanks for watching this video, my friends. Um, hope you all have a wonderful day there, and I will see you all next time.